Hey guys, it's Godbars here, the self-proclaimed hip-hop historian, and this is the 265th episode of my series, where I grab a vinyl from my collection, talk about why I love it, what influence it has, and what its place is in the grand scheme of hip-hop. So while this may be a massive selection of 90s classics I've been embarking on for this set, I can confidently say that this LP separates itself from pretty much any other album I've talked about or will talk about in this group. In fact, there's very few LPs I've covered in general on the page that can be likened to the legendary first chapter of the Soul Assassin series, which of course was ultimately put together and masterminded by DJ Muggs. The visionary producer and pioneer who was behind Cypress Hill's dark, grimy, and pretty forward-thinking sound. Soul Assassins is a series with a number of volumes, but they all feature a collection of various acts from all over the country who don't really share much in common outside of being iconic 90s hip-hop artists. And the fact that they're all coming together to rap over these killer DJ Muggs instrumentals. The only LPs I've discussed prior to this one that exist in a similar space in my mind are Prince Among Thieves by Prince Paul and the first volume of Lyricist Lounge, which was more of a compilation album. And while that legendary Raucous Records project similarly featured different artists on every track, I would say the good majority were from New York, though there's obviously a few exceptions. Plus, every beat on there is handled by a different name. While, like I said, Chapter 1 of Soul Assassins here is made up of artists from all over, but all of the instrumentals are being done by one producer, which is the same case with the aforementioned Prince Paul LP. The only real difference in format between Prince Among Thieves and this thing would be how the former is a concept album with a very direct, linear, comprehensive storyline which meant that each and every rapper that was recruited to participate was there for a very specific role and select purpose, which in the case of that album was mainly for their voices, considering they were basically playing characters in an audible movie. When it comes to today's pick, Soul Assassins is often listed as a collective, but I think of it more as an ongoing project since the roster changes around with each new installation, and out of all five chapters in the series so far, I probably would have to rank this one at the very top of the heap. A good amount of that is due to the amazing production Muggs serves up on here, and it makes sense that he's had so many dope collaborations with more modern rappers in the New York underground, because he was undoubtedly one of the true godfathers of that sinister and grimy boom bap style. However, the other half of the equation here is the absolutely stellar list of acts that come together, which I'm going to rattle off a bit earlier than usual since they technically all share top billing under DJ Muggs. Though some have songs where they linked up with fellow legends, while most get solo tracks to themselves. Regardless, the artists in question include fellow Cypress Hill member Be Real, as well as Infamous Mob, Call of the Wild, Dr. Dre, Goody Mob, RZA, Jizza, Law the Darkman, MC8, KRS-One, Mob Deep, and Wyclef Jean of the Fugees. This is one of those rare occurrences where despite getting a good dozen people from different areas who were all on completely different wavelengths, Muggs was still able to walk away with a cohesive, incredibly high quality piece of work that in my opinion, doesn't feature anything resembling a whack moment anywhere on it. While the opening track shared between Dr. Dre and Be Real is one of the many highlights on Chapter 1 of the Soul Assassins here, I actually wanted to share some lines from the song that follows it, which features all four members of Goody Mob snapping as usual. But since I can't realistically read all of them, I decided to go with CeeLo Greens. He comes in with, Relentless realism regardless represents. Southwest goes out, possesses the manifest that's heaven sent. What's said is meant to the fullest extent. No nonsense because my conscience wouldn't be content. But just a little wealth, a little fame. But your mind frame will keep you living the same. And it's a shame that people would settle with the ghetto, huh? Hoes have the clothes that ain't making what you suppose. 
let your eyes close to what your contract shows in fine print, they gotta get back every cent you spent. You content, cuz. You do what everybody does. The industry that changed you from the person you was. Knee deep in the struggle, two part-time jobs to juggle. Got a lady and a seed that you can't hardly feed. Any day your life could end, so you depend on the reciting and the writing. When you got the spare time to spend. To keep you stable. Hoping one day you'll be able to be a commodity on somebody's record label. Got your chance, $20,000 advance and a car. And all of a sudden, you a star at the bar ballin'. Calling the waiter to bring one of the finest wines. Then you started snorting lines. Your life defines the misconception of staying down. You can't be influenced by everybody you hang round. You should have been more appreciative of the life that you were blessed to live. A hundred percent is what you got to give. Cause ain't no telling your bullshit starts smelling. And you wonder why your record ain't selling no more. Ending up with no dough and no respect back in the projects. At building 23 right next door to me. When it comes down to my top 3 overall favorite tracks on this one. I would definitely have to go with Decisions, Decisions, Puppet Master and It Could Happen To You. Then for honorable mentions I want to recommend tracks like Third World. Battle of 2001, Heavy Weights, Move Ahead, New York Undercover, John 316, Devil in a Blue Dress, and Life is Tragic. Thank you for watching my 265th video. Next time we're doing the third and final DITC pick of this set. So look out for that one, and if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite moments off this meeting of minds are. But don't forget to have a great day, and I'll see you next time, okay? Alright.